first into the tank, an entrepreneur ready to open the door on a magical idea. I'm Sally. I'm from the beautiful Southern Highlands of New South Wales. The idea for my product came from my two beautiful daughters. I was researching ideas for their birthday and I stumbled across this concept that I knew would help families. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi, how, how are you? This looks fantastic. My dream is to see my product in every store, in every house, for it to be a household brand. Talking to the sharks about my product is going to be absolutely once in a lifetime. And I think they're gonna love it. Hi, I'm Sally, and I'm the founder and fairy in charge at Little Fairy Door. I'm asking for $325,000 for 20% of my company. A fairy door is a tiny little door that you put down low on a wall or up high on a shelf, and the fairies come in and out at night and leave little notes and presents for well-behaved children. The idea for Little Fairy Door came from my fairy crazy daughter. With my background in graphic design and web design, I had seven months of secret fairy business and within a week of launching the brand, I had sold out. Wow. It's been a pretty amazing journey. We are running into our fifth year with over a thousand stores stocking the Little Fairy Door brand. And we'd love some help from a shark or two to help spread this fairy magic as far and wide as possible. Sally, how, how does it work? Well, it's a tiny little door with mailboxes and mushrooms, and fairy footprints leading outside the fairy door. We also have some fairy notes. Oh, uh, in here. I was getting emails from families who are having all these amazing results. Families whose children are now sleeping in their own beds at night. They're toilet training. They're cleaning up their rooms because the fairies reward them for good behaviour. <laughs> now, Sally, I have to tell you, I'm a customer. Unreal! I bought this for nieces and lots of little ones. But tell us about your sales, because if you're in a thousand stockists, that means you must have some serious sales behind the business. We've got 300 new stockists in the last 45 days. Oh, wow. Last year, we did 700,000. Yeah. Since the start of this financial year, we've done 868 so far. We're set to do 5.1 million. Because of the interest that we've had from the US, the market is pretty incredible over there. Wow. On $5.1 million, what do you expect to make? We're looking to make 900. And that is in US. I'm in. I'll give you exactly what you're after. 325 grand, 20%. No, he's a, he's, he's <laughs> Dean of Queenslander, he's rushing I want to look at who's the appropriate partner for this. Your projected sales, 5.1 million, 900,000 profit for the next financial year. Right. That's why he's getting so excited. So you just got to calm him down a little bit. Well, I'm actually making the offers. They're just talking and gas bagging. So, you know, we can, we can do the deal if you really want, or you can just continue to do this, so. You, you want a partner who deeply wants to work with you and understand you? Correct. I need some sharks to help me make this the household brand that it's so close to being. That's why I bring a team to it. I've actually got a team of people that actually help. I have an operations manager and I have uh, finance and accounting staff. Yeah. So we put resources in there to actually assist our businesses. So we can move on with this or we can, you know, keep with the banter. This is from a guy who has absolutely no fairy experience. <laughs> we don't know that. He's keen. He's keen. Imagine what you do if you sprinkle some fairy dust. Exactly. Where do you live? I didn't even ask that, did I? Look at that. I didn't even ask where she was from. <laughs> yeah, you, you've got fairy dust in your eyes, Steve. We're about an hour and a half south of Sydney, so we're in the Southern Highlands. Right. OK, well, we've got one shark in. 
for deliberating. I think we should get on with the feeding frenzy, but don't worry, we don't eat fairies. It's OK. Please don't You're eat safe. my fairies. You're safe. <laughs> They're very special fairies. The fairies actually come with us to our hospital visits. Oh, nice. These kids are going through really terrible things. So we go and we hand out hundreds of fairy doors once or twice a year. And they're for those moments when they wake up in the morning and check if the fairies have visited, they're not sick. I'll be in for that too if you need a hand. That's all right, regardless what happens. So, Sally, I'm going to make you an offer. <laughs> I'm going to offer you the 325 for the 20%. But I think more than that, I am literally just around the corner and I think you're going to need some hand-holding and I'd love to be that person for you. Thank you so much. Two in, three to go. <laughs> oh, I'm in. I'll, I'll just quite happily match Naomi. Yeah, I'll make you an offer. I'll match the offer, 325 and 20%. I think you've got this kind of on a roll, but I think I can help move things along in the US. Thank you. Look, I'm with the rest of the group. 325 for, for 20%. So if you sell 20% to all of us, you walk away with $1.625 million <laughs> and you work for us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that isn't fairy dust, what is? Look, I, I'm honoured. I know that all of you could help. I'd love to have the business meetings and have all of you involved. So I'd love to get more than one shark together on a team. Would any of you be interested in banding together? How much are you prepared to sell? Would you sell more than 20%? There would be something that I'm definitely open to. All right. It will become quite a logistics business. It's about having the right stock in the right place at the right time. Absolutely. And that level of logistics experience is going to be really important for you. Absolutely. You need sharks that are used to high growth businesses. Yeah. If I was to make a suggestion knowing how he manages stock and has in all of those things in the logistics, I would love to work with Glenn on this deal. You do 10% each? Correct. At half of 325. Yep. Plus a $325,000 loan if you need it for working capital. So that's, in total, $650,000. Now, while you're contemplating that mediocre deal, <laughs> over here, I'd like to introduce you to Janine, who has a proposal. Um, us three at this end, we'd like to make an offer of $486,000 for 30%. Okay. So we will take 10% each. Now, what you get, though, is you get a very wide pool of experience and you get three sharks. And the better looking end, I think. Yeah, well, you know, Andrew's, Andrew's correct there. <laughs> so are you offering up a $460,000 loan as well? No. So they're just putting 462, we're at 325, plus another 325 as a loan, in total $650,000. Just so you know with the loan though, I don't know what their loan is, I don't know what percentage it is. That could be a negative, not a positive. Right. So, yeah, sure, we'll put it up as well. Sally, she's very persuasive, <laughs> but just listen to the detail. And can I mention that we'll have great board meetings? You don't want great board meetings, you want constructive board meetings. You want board meetings where people are actually going to give you value. <laughs> don't give away too much because don't you are on a roll. Too much. And if you would like my contacts in America, which are deep in retail, right. uh, happy to open the doors to give you a hand on that front too. OK, Sally, it's time to decide. Put us out of our misery. All five sharks are willing to spend big money for a piece of Sally Copas's business, Little Fairy Door. Would any of you be interested in banding together? Glenn and Naomi have made an offer for 20% of the company. You do 10% each? Correct while Steve, Andrew and Janine are asking for 30%. We'd like to make an offer of $486,000 for 30%. OK. 
OK, Sally, it's time, time to decide. Put us out of our misery. Look, to me, it's, it's a huge decision. All of you have that business mind to help me with these strategic decisions. Naomi and Glenn, I'd like to take your deal. Oh. Oh. May, may the fairies always be on your side. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. What a great change. Well done. Well done. Sally, well done. It's Thank fantastic. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Really all the best. Right? Really appreciate it. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, fairy. Bye. Hey, winner, winner. Just saying. Sometimes the fairies <laughs> get it wrong. I don't know what was in your fairy dust, but you had them all hook, line and sinker. I can't believe I got all five sharks. Tough decision to make, though. I think that we definitely made the right choice. They're going to be a huge part of how we take Fairy Door to the world. OK. <laughs> Coconut. Oh, wow. Coconut bowls? Someone's got to sell them. And the shark's expectations are high. You get well in my fireplace. Coconut bowls. Four of them. Coconut bowls. Is that what the business is called? Looks like it, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder it's how we came up with that name. Great natural SEO. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. Stand by, everyone. Excellent. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> business is the fourth business that I've started. Some of the other ones weren't as successful as this, but I know that my business now is going to make the sharks go crazy. Steve, he's so nasty. <laughs> OK, when you're ready. Hi, Janine, Naomi, Steve, Andrew and Glenn. My name is Jake and I'm the founder of Coconut Bowls. Today I'm asking you for $300,000 oh. in exchange for 10% of my business. <laughs> Every year, billions of coconut shells are discarded and burned as waste. We reclaim these shells and turn them into these beautiful bowls that people love eating from. Every single day, hundreds of our customers are sharing photos of them using our bowls on social media. And this amount of user-generated content and exposure has allowed us to grow without focusing on paid marketing. After selling our first coconut bowl in January 2016, we've now sold well over 100,000 units. <laughs> nice. While our main focus has been selling online, our products are used and sold in hundreds of cafes and retail stores around the world. Wow. In our first year of trading, we turned over $200,000. OK, good job. Last year, we grew by more than 500% to a revenue of almost $1.2 million. Whoa. And this year, our organic growth is forecasted to push beyond $3 million. Holy Jesus, Lord. I believe that there's never been a better time to be a profit with purpose business. That's us. And with your help, we can make sustainability sexy. Wow. Thank you. Go, Jake. Well, congratulations. Great pitch. 
Just to summarise, Jake, you were looking for three hundred thousand dollars for ten percent. So you're valuing your business at three million. Yes, correct. It's not a bad valuation for a brand new business, but yep. your, your sales are impressive. So it seems to me you've almost started a community, and the coconut bowls happens to simply be the product around that community. Is that how you see it? That's exactly right. I started obviously the coconut bowls Instagram page. I then created an Instagram page called Vegan Bowls and Smoothie Bowls because that's what people were creating in our product. Our Coconut Bowl branded account has over 200,000 followers. We're on Facebook, we're also on YouTube, Pinterest and Twitter and we are Coconut Bowls on all of those platforms. Let me show you yeah. what people basically do with these Coconut Bowls. Yeah. A lot of candle. Is that a candle? That's a candle. It feels very Bali, doesn't it? It is. Well, we actually began in Bali. I came across a similar product but it was being sold as like a souvenir to tourists. Yep. But I thought it was actually just better as a raw shell. So right. um, I had a guy make them for me, took them home in my suitcase and began selling them. So they're not manufactured in Bali now though, are they? No, so we actually reclaim them from coconut farms in Vietnam. We pay them to basically sort them by the size and the quality that we need and then we take them to our, our workshop where I employ local craftspeople to turn them into the bowls. G'day, Jake, how are you doing? Good, Steve, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Hey, um, what does it cost you to produce one of these bowls? A couple of dollars. What do you sell one for, mate? We sell them for twelve ninety five retail. OK, right. If you're a really good entrepreneur, you've already looked at the next 12 months. Mm -hmm. What's the real profit for the next 12 months after paying yourself a salary? I believe $600,000. Truly, and what are you paying yourself? $80,000. OK, and you've got how many team members? I've been mindful and I've hired mainly contractors. That's basically why I'm pitching for the money. I think that it's time to build a team around me of people who believe in my product and my vision. Excellent. Jake, I have to be honest, you went from a joke to someone something serious. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I sat here, I went, coconut bowls, really? But wow, super impressive for such a short period of time, so congratulations. So with that in mind, I'd like to offer you $300,000 for 28%. Poor, oh, kicks it off. You the only shareholder? Yes, I own 100% of the business. I'll give you $300,000 for 25%. It's the community I'm interested in and you. I think you're really onto something. I'll throw an offer at you based on the fact that I do know this space. I've spent three years reinventing myself so I really? can support people like you. And you have my 100% focus as a, an investor and a supporter and a mentor because I don't have a day job anymore. But he, he also spends a lot of time on a fishing boat and every time I call him, he's like, can't hear you, can't hear you. And Jake, he hasn't, he hasn't built a website that got to a valuation of six billion. Did, didn't I just say I was about to give you an offer and wasn't I rudely interrupted by a couple of parrots down the hill? <laughs> Can we give the mic back to Glenn, please? Thank you very much, Jake. <laughs> I, like I like your style. Oh, Jake, you're good. He's good. He's good. <laughs> so let's give you the offer so these parrots can work out whether they want to get a little bit more serious. Um, $300,000 for 20% of your business. Janine's offered you 28%. I've offered you 25%. Glenn's offered 20%. Naomi, what are you going to do? I'll offer you 300,000 for 18%. <laughs> it's a nice offer. Thank you, Naomi. Steve, what are you going to do? I'm out. I'm not in this. I don't, don't give a toss about vegan stuff. But as a, as a word of advice, you've got to make them fight it out for less than 10%. Because you've got a great business, mate. If you're confident on 600 grand, you're going to go out at a five times multiple. You've got to stitch them up for more. Because you're selling equity here, right? It's pretty valuable. Because you've got growth. People who are out, they, they have no voice because they're out. Mate, if you, if, you take, if you take more than 10%, you're doing yourself a disservice. You can't hear them. Stitch these guys up for a single digit. When they're out, they're out. 
You've done you've so much better than any of these in the same growth rate. Steve, you're not helping him. You're not helping him make a decision here. If he thinks it's so incredible, he's not cracking a check. I don't do vegan. I don't do vegan. Now, he is the classic guy that says, I don't care if it's a widget, if it's a good business, I'll get it. So if he thinks it's so bloody good, he hasn't made you an offer. I haven't tried to rip you off yet either. And you haven't made an offer. I haven't, I haven't tried to rip you off. I don't like this well stuff. Then, I, I don't... Well then, shut up. So you have to ignore anyone who's not prepared to put their money where their mouth is. Money talks, right? I'll revise my offer to 20%. 300,000 for 20%. Ah. I'll match Naomi's offer. Eighteen <laughs> percent. I I would be absolutely thrilled to have all four of you as part of my business. No, and... you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen. If you not gonna happen. Jake, is easy. Jake, I categorically say I'm not going to work with them. <laughs> okay. If you accept her valuation, I'll go halves with her. Yes. Andrew, do you think that this is the kind of product that you could push into the, the States? I, I, I love the whole community space. It's scalable, it's online, and I'm absolutely convinced that myself and Janine can help you grow that. So they're teaming up. That's pretty sad. Why so if you sad? really want a good team that knows how to play it, I'm prepared to go with Naomi, who is <laughs> an absolute legend on working with lists of community and making sure you're maximising your opportunities in those communities. I think you said two and a half seconds ago that you wouldn't do a deal with anyone, so you're just a flip-flopper, eh? I'm an opportunist. <laughs> so, what's your decision? Jake is centering his thoughts after receiving multiple offers for his million dollar coconut bowl business. So what's your decision? <laughs> Naomi and Glenn have teamed up, so have Janine and Andrew. Now they just have to wait. All right, I'm gonna do a deal. Who with? Janine and Andrew. Yay! I am so Thank pleased. You. I'm very excited about what you're doing. Thanks, Janine. Well done. Thank you. Well done. We three are going to kill it. Hey! I like it. <laughs> Food, online, maybe. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Woohoo! Can't believe it. Hey! High five. Hey! I like it. Making money, changing the world. Coconut bowls, eh? Who thought you'd do a deal with coconut know. bowls? And, we, <laughs> and who thought we'd fight over it? To be honest, my gut was telling me Janine, just because of what she's been able to achieve with Boost Juice, and Andrew with the proven success in America, it was just too much for me to, uh, to say no to. Let's change the world and make money. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. First into the tank, a Melbourne innovator who's hoping to make a clean sweep with the Sharks. Hi, my name's Ash Newland and I'm the creator of the award-winning Scrub Wash Bag. I'm here seeking an investment of $178,000 for 8% of my company. Now let me tell you a story about how I came up with the idea for my product. I was taking a break from my job as a patent attorney to travel around Africa and climb to the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro. I realised that with all my cold weather and camping gear, I'd only have enough room in my bag to pack a couple of changes of casual clothes. This posed a real problem for my trip, but fortunately it was a problem that led to a solution that has not only changed my life, but it's changed the way that people can travel today. The solution was packing this, the scrub wash bag. 
It's the world's smallest and lightest portable washing machine for travel, camping and sportswear. Weighs less than 145 grams. It requires no electricity and uses minimal water. How does this nifty little device work? Well, the scrub wash bag has a secret, and that's on the inside, where we have hundreds of knobs, and these function just like a washboard. At its most basic form, that's what you can think of the scrub wash bag as. It's a washboard in a bag, and this enables you to clean your clothes in just a few minutes and a few simple steps. So all you need to do is add your water and cleaning liquid, close it up, rub from the outside for a few minutes, rinse and hang to dry. It's that easy. Who wants to check one out a bit closer? Yes, please. Love to. Does it fit jeans in it? Is it that big? You can just fit a pair of jeans in it. Uh, because you do have a washboard surface on the inside, that's really what does a lot of the cleaning. So with a pair of jeans, you really kind of have to move it around a little bit in the bag. I um, travelled from when I was 21 to 27. It was, I wish this was around then. Bloody hell. So just confirming that's 178,000 for 8%. Yes, that's correct. Right. What's the RRP of the product? Uh, in Australia, it currently retails for 64.95, including shipping. Uh, in the US at the moment, it's uh, 55 US. Our approach so far, we initially crowdfunded and what that meant is we went global right off the bat. As soon as we announced the product, Gizmag and Gizmodo ran stories in probably well over 100 countries and we had pre-orders of our product from, I think, over 50 countries. What? So for us, it wasn't ever an opportunity to just try and grow a test market in Australia and then expand. We were just thrown in the deep end globally, but that's worked really well for us and definitely spread our risk. And so how many shareholders have you got, please? Uh, it is just myself. You're 100%? Yes, that's correct. As an investor, how will I get my $178,000 back? Uh, and plus my incredibly amazing return that you will deliver for me? <laughs> uh, we're going to be in a position, I feel, at the end of this financial year that we will contemplate looking at paying out dividends. I found the word dividend to be quite novel. Businesses I don't deal with. We haven't deal. heard a lot of that, have no, we? No, we haven't <laughs> heard a lot of that here. So no. you're talking about dividends, and then not, you're not paying yourself a salary, though, at this point in time? No, no, that's right. So um, how are you supporting yourself? Yeah, I was fortunate enough to do quite well in some speculative mining stocks uh, back some years ago. Uh, <laughs> so that's what enabled me to fund the business without um, actually having to go to the bank. I borrowed a bit of money off the home as well. That money has been paid back already, uh, so the company is debt free. Awesome. Are you single? Uh, no, I've got a long-term girlfriend. All oh, right, because I've, I've got a daughter I was wanting to introduce <laughs> you to. But... Sorry, that's beside the is point. She, is she here today at all? Uh, no, she's back in Melbourne. Yeah. So tell us about the patents. You've got patents across the globe. It's actually patented in Australia and New Zealand, patent pending in 52 other countries. Have trademarks either registered or pending in over 42 countries. So we're, we're definitely looking at being around for a long time. Have you thought about selling this to armed services? That's actually one of the medium to long term goals, particularly to try and get it into the US military. They have 1.5 million active personnel. Yeah. Uh, currently, standard issue for them is a sea line dry bag. Yeah, I've seen it. If um, the US military came and said, look, can you modify this? It'd still fall within our intellectual property and we could custom make them. So, Ash, you've got money, you've made money out of stocks, you're a smart man, you're an intellectual property lawyer, you've got patents and trademarks up the yin yang. Why do you need us? I see myself being able to take this product to your $2 million revenue a year type level. But I think having someone who's very experienced in business and who has been there and can open some doors, we can just really get well beyond that mark. Which uh, shark did you come here wanting to get? Well, I think all the sharks are, well, you guys are all incredible and what you've done in your respective industries. I think any one of you would 
be able to assist me taking the business to the next level. You're such a smoothie, aren't you? Yeah, really. The product is ingenious. Uh, the market globally, as we all know, is enormous. Uh, I'm not an overly an outdoorsy guy, so it's not a product that I connect with, but it's a business that I know is going to flourish, but I'm out. Yeah, thank you for your consideration. Unfortunately, with business, they're like buses. There's always another one coming, and there's always another deal coming. Um, so I'm going to reserve my cash for something else, but I, I wish you well, and, um, you know, as I said, you're, you're going to do, do great, but I'm out. Yeah, thank you. I'll tell you where I'm at, mate. I'd like to give you an offer. Um, I round up to 180k, because 178 is just impossible to say, um, for 15% uh, of the company. And I've got uh, numerous contacts in the military. I'm, I'm on a board with a former head of army, vice chief of the defence forces, the chairman. So I can give you some help into the inroads into, into the military sector there, but I think that uh, this, is, uh, this is an opportunity I'd love to help you out on. So there's my offer, one, 180K for 15%. OK, thank you for the offer. So, Ash, this is where I'm up to. I love your product. I really understand this market, and also given my background and, and where I've come from, being in the travel industry, and uh, also what I'm doing now with the online retail, I see how much value that I can add to you. So um, what I'm going to offer you is $200,000 for 20% of your business. OK, thank you for the offer. So at the moment you've got two offers, 180,000, 15%, which is obviously... 1.2 million dollar valuation. Basically a 1.2 million, yeah, and 200,000 for 20%. So one's got more cash, but the other one's taking less equity. So that's two of them. Janine? Um, I will make you an offer. What I, uh, what I can offer you, though, is I think with, with the journey of business, you need support, you know, emotionally as well as, you know, solution-based. Marketing and branding, I'm very strong at. We've created a brand, Boost Juice Bars, had 95% awareness in our user in only five years. There's no other people out there that can really do that. I have got incredibly great contacts in the army. His name's Steve, which I sh <laughs> should be able to tap into. So I am... Um, I'm going to offer you the same valuation as Steve, which was 1.2 mil. So I'll offer you 204,000 at 17%. Okay, thank you for the offer. Well done, Ash. You've managed to reverse the show, and now they're all pitching to you. <laughs> so, three offers on the table. Where do you stand? Newland has invented the scrubber wash bag, a washing machine for travellers, and he's already cleaned up with three sharks. So, three offers on the table, 180, 15%. 200,000, 20% from Naomi. 204,000, 17% from Janine. Where do you stand? Ah, uh, well, there. All extremely good offers, and uh, I guess uh, just like to ask if there's any flexibility in them, or whether any of you would be interested in doing a partnership with one of the other sharks, uh, if you think that they've got a complementary skill that can also well, help me and also you. It's on the edge for wanting to care, in some respects, for, for wanting to share. 
It, it does. There are certain combinations of sharks that are left in the game that make more, that make sense. And it, me, it naturally suits itself to a, a yeah. twos rather than a threes, which is the first place I'd go. Otherwise, I think none of us will really care in, in some respects. 30% if we did take 10 each, would that be feeling too steep for you or is that something you would consider? It, it'd be on a suitable valuation. Uh, yes, on a suitable valuation. On the valuation. valuation that we've basically all come to. Yep, so we go 10 each, 120 each. 120 each, 10 each. So that's 30%. For each 10%, it's 120,000. So you've got 120, 240, 360. I think the most I could really go to is around the 20%. So it probably just leaves room for, for two sharks. What are you going to do? I think I'd like to go with Steve and Janine. I think, Steve, with your military contacts, you would be a great asset to, to have. And Janine, I've read your book in particular, and I think um, hopefully you'll be as good a mentor as, as you've had to get you where you are. Congratulations, well done. Hey. Right. Thanks, Ash. Here's the one another cast. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Name's not happy. <laughs> Thank you. It's just business. Well done. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Thanks, Ash. Looking oh. forward to it. Oh, well, there was blood in the water there. Silly man. Silly man. Does he not know what he was missing? I think Naomi needs to turn around. I think there's a bit of a bite in your dorsal fin. No! <laughs> yes!